Hey everybody, Creation One here with Silly Putty. I mean, more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we went to trial and we were with Edgeworth. Woohoo! And we learned about two important characters the director and the producer. So, we're gonna go to Studio Two and we're gonna learn more about this director and producer. Let's head out, folks! Yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's go Phoenix! So yeah, basically when we talked to Maya, we talked to her about what to do, any ideas, etc. Let's do this. And I can barely hear myself talk. This is very annoying. What do you think we should do? What do I, huh? Why don't we do what you just said? No, we're gonna go to Studio 3, we're gonna fuck your sister, and then we're gonna move on with this damn case. Okay? We gotta get to the director on the- We gotta get the scoop on this director and producer. There's no point hanging around here. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Do you have any ideas? Yeah, let's go, um, get some burgers. Or something like that. Anyways, let's move on. And I'm gonna crack my knuckles. I'm gonna get a sip of my Pepsi. And we're gonna go on to... Studios. Ready, folks? We're gonna move. We're gonna move. We're gonna move in three, two, one, go. October 18th to 16 p.m. Global Studios Main Gate. Hold on. Let's see if I can. No one's here. Oh no, shit, Sherlock. They have Miss Old Bag and Cassidy. Hope it's not spoiled. I guess I don't have anyone else to replace her. Look, she left her donuts. <laughs> why would you think of food at time like this? Seriously, what the? Why would you think? What? I wasn't gonna eat them. <laughs> let's go. Let's ex. Damn birds, you're not on Twitter. You're not the Twitter bird, so shut up. Looks like it's gonna turn off for the day. So we can't examine the epically awesome computer that's running Windows 95 and it crashes every five minutes. We can go to the right and cold office, we can go to the detention center, we can go outside, we can go to we can to a, we can go to a lot of places. Let's go to employee area first. Maybe we can talk to people who are important. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hey, hey, you, emo girl, freckles girl. Yes, we're the players. We, oh, 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 oh. We didn't do that great of a job. Seriously, Penny. Knock, knock, bum, bum, bum. Penny, Penny, Penny. Yeah, I had to do that reference somewhere. No, they didn't catch the security lady. She slipped away. They found that she was spoiled, so they just threw her into the ditch. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. She told you to cover up your drain. She told you to cover up that hole in your head as well, but she didn't do that. Yeah, that one. And it's not even that great of a patch job anyways. Mario would have had a better job doing it, but then again, at least he would have a better job of patching it because he didn't have to go through um, getting 120 stars and just going up there doing a patch job. I know it's not good with handiwork. Yeah, but you work on the props and the back prop drops, right? And the back back drops and the back 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 drops and the back 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 drops and more back drops with back drops and then you do back drops with back drops and do back drops back drops and then the back drops back drops which are the back drops back drops of those back drops which make back drops of those back drops and 
Ah, oh, you get my point. Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. That's pretty bad. Nothing to worry about. Uh, you're right. I'm wrong. Personally, I think she would worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I'll go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fail him from this old bag. <laughs> right, see you later. Thank you. But yeah, there's really nothing we can do here. Seriously. We can go into the dressing room, maybe. And let's see. What's gonna be here? Maybe there's gonna be someone very important. Who's here? Still Samurai Katsu was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power said, at least. And then it just wandered off. It walked by itself. It made footprints as it went along. And we didn't find those footprints. And then we revealed those footprints later. And it's like, <gasps> as we're like, oh my god, I missed those obvious footprints. I'm going to go emo in the case for happens. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. Or they gave him sleeping pills. That's a good idea to think about as well. But Nick, he was sleeping. He was just in a very, he wasn't, actually, wait, he wasn't sleeping, he was just had his eyes closed. That's all. Uh, he had put cyanide in his potato skin Boston baked ham. No, she's not got a point, she's got a fucking period, what's your point? Okay, there's really nothing we can do here either. Let's go to... Well... Where should we go, viewers? Should we go to the studio main gate or dressing room? Well, obviously we need to go with the studio gate. Uh, let's see. And then we'll go to the detention center. Let's talk to old bag. Or... Oh god, chest hair, 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 hair, chest hair, chest hair, chest hair, 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 there's hair there on your chest. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. And you don't have spiky hair like Phoenix. Well, you somewhat have spiky hair, but your your hair is not as spiky as mine, so therefore you fail at life. And you have stupid fail chest hair, so therefore you fail at life. And see that security camera? It sees your back hair as well, which means also you fail. And that security guard, he's so bored the fact that you're on a kid show that he just falls asleep. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. No, we didn't get lucky. We were just pure skill. So, WP, I was like totally wanting to talk to you because I'm like your totally best, bestest, best fan. Can I have an autograph? Well, I, we have to go through the glass. Let's well, just break the glass. You know, we're in the future. We you could just use this tool to just crack the thing open enough to where it won't do things. Shut up, Maya. Shut up, Maya, before we get thrown in jail. Anyways, let's move on. No, I don't. Hmm. Chester, new, 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 Chester, do, 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 chestnuts, bing, 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 chestnuts. Sorry, but no. I just wasted a 30 seconds of your time, viewers. Aww. Yeah. Tell us anything that comes to your mind, even perverted jokes. We can't rely on getting lucky tomorrow. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know. I, I I know. I suck at life. I know. I know. I know. It's just, uh, I'm working so hard, and then I just got thrown to the sidelines of this kid show. It makes me emo. The fanboy. I'm a fanboy of Edgeworth, as you know by now, viewers. So, um, yeah. Why would you let fanboys sneak into the studios? Well, of course not. That security lady's very strict with them. She gives those weapons numbers a lesson. But in today's testimony, didn't she? They were often hanging around. 
The kids really, really, really love to see those samurai so much, in fact, that they're little stalkers and they're gonna grow up to be pedophiles. They sneak past when she's not looking, which ha apparently happened in Boston. So what about this director guy? You know, there's gotta be a director. Yes, yes. Jesse, whoa. He was directing how Seo Samurai Evil Magistrate should move. Okay, folks. So, um, you're gonna move up here, and you're gonna move down here, and then you're gonna strike each other in these awesome poses, and then you're gonna stick that thing straight through his testicles. Why didn't you tell us that before? <laughs> Look at her. God, I still like that puffed up face. She might say that puff puff, stay puffed marshmallow guy. Nah. Or the Michelin man. But, but, just the studios act does to keep quiet. Why? This has nothing to do with this. This is irrelevant to the case, Your Honor. When he said stay away from the summoner, this is clearly irrelevant. I hate to read. Fresh off the bar, I was shaken. I was stirred, not shaken. He loses, he's gonna lose big. Just like going to a casino. I, 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 I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I know I suck at life. Please stop calling me over to suck at life! Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything from us, are you? Well, we don't know if he's hiding anything from us. We don't got the Mag the Tama thing of a bobber that can help us reveal the truth from even the most... <gasps> things! You know, the most stubborn of people. Why breaking the chains to their heart? No, no, I sure hope... What do you mean you hope not? Screw you. I'm going back to Brighton Cole office. No, I'm not gonna go there. We're gonna go to the studios. I guess they go through there? I don't know. Outside Studio One. October 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey, Nick. Ooh, see, see here? There's snow on the ground, even though there's no snow in this picture. We're gonna go sliding through the woods. And then we're gonna hit rock bottom, and we're gonna find out the rest of the case. Okay. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. Well, no. No one cares about Gumshoe. I don't want gum on my shoe. And I want shoe on my gum. So, he's probably at Studio 2, though. And paperwork after the commotion. <clears throat> so, Nick. Remember that Studio 2? No, I remember Studio 3. I remember Studio 12. But I don't remember Studio 2. What about Studio 2? It was down that path with the fallen tree. Oh, that's Studio 2. Okay. Maybe the director and the rest of them are here today. Now the chess. Let's go. Let's go. Inside Studio 1. Let's go back to Studio 1. October 18th, Studio 1. I, I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to get a summer ass. <sighs> well, screw you guys. I'm going back home. And I'm just going to sit there and do absolutely nothing. We're going to go to Studio 2. This is a new place. We haven't been here. Ever. Ever. And hold on. I got to do something here real quick. Okay, I had a cough there, so... Let's go! This, this is Studio 2. It doesn't really look like a studio at all. Um, well, it's the outside of Studio 2. That's what makes the difference here. It doesn't really look much like a studio. No, it looks more like a whorehouse. No, that it does not. And look at that cabin 
Look at that nice little trailer. That doesn't look like a trailer. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty damn sturdy thing. It looks more like a lump, like a house house. Not a trailer, it just looks like a house. Seriously, that's a pretty nice looking trailer. Cause I have the fastest bike in the trailer park. So let's see. Let's examine the minivan. A light fan for moving staff and equipment around. No shit, Sherlock. Looks like it runs fine. Yeah, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. How, why? Why don't you have a license? You're 24 and you don't have a license? But look, I have this. Wait, you. Uh, how? You. No wonder you're so broke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and look, someone had dinner. Their dinner. Their dinner. I, hmm, I wonder what for dinner. Your mother. Oh. I can't wait to eat your mother. So they ate T-bone steaks. What? How in the world can this children's show, how, they, they, this makes no sense. They produce a children's show and they can afford freaking T-bone steak. Maybe I'm kind of ignorant here, but still, I wouldn't want to be eating T-bone steak every night. After a while, it just get kind of boring. Maybe they eat lobster and caviar. Yeah, what is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. No, there's always room for jello. What's out of place? I don't know. It just feels... That doesn't help at all. Hey, look. Looks back here. What's that? It's a, um... An incinerator. They just put this one in. Why do they need incinerators for? They must not clean it much. Yeah, apparently not. Oh, let's see. Let's examine the rocks. These look like materials for making a movie set. No shit, Sir Lock. Jesus Christ, Phoenix, you are so dumb. You are so dumb. Really, really dumb. For real. Really, 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 really so dumb. And the and Jack camera was attacked by some idiot in the project. So dumb, so dumb, so dumb, so. He's climbing in the studios and snatching all your spears up, trying to kill people. So you need to hide your directors, hide your producers, hide your directors, hide your producers, hide your directors, hide your. And hide your assistants because they'd be killing everybody out there. You don't have to come and confess. We looking for you. We gonna find you. We gonna find you. See, you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that. Homeboy, home, home, homeboy. Okay, that was death. <laughs> what did I just go through? Wow. That was. Or boy, I apologize, viewers, but that was. Uh, why would I sing that? Oh, that was just horrible. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's go inside, and then we'll figure out this whole case from there. Oh well. What? It's locked. Oh, can't we just like break in or something? Seriously, I want to break in and do stuff. Hey, there's a big two. No shit again. This is... Uh, they, uh, they always tell the freaking obvious. The obvious. Hmm, let's see. What else are we supposed to do here? I don't remember. No, I want to examine everything that we have to offer here, including this stuffed bear thing and that 
What's that? Hey, look! That's the chair the doctor sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Look at look at that. Whoa! And look, a megaphone! It's a megaphone! It's an ultra phone! It's an omega phone. Yeah, she's very, very troubled, Phoenix. We already knew that. Your goodness, this is KMZZ News. Maya is a troubled woman. She is now going to rehab because she believes in spirits. 